This just might be the largest Dell single socket machine that I've ever seen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. A lot of new subscribers have been here since the last video, so thank you for being here. Today, we are going to unbox the Dell Precision 7875, and I can't wait. It has been, I don't even know where to stand. It has been about two weeks since this machine has arrived, and I've been looking at it, waiting for the right moment to unbox this with you. Now, if you're really new to this channel, I do a typical unboxing from the user of, not an employee at Dell, because I do work at Dell, but more as a user and as a content creator, because that's what I am as a hobby. So I'm gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you what this computer is like and what you can expect from it. But I have not done a ton of research. One second here, if I can open it. I have not done a ton of research on this specific AMD model. So I am going in a little bit blind, but by the end, I will be able to tell you everything that we have in this box. Okay, so right out of the gate, it does come with the fantastic KM732-1W. I've reviewed this. If you've not seen it, I will put the link down below. Let's see, we have a power adapter and cable. Sorry for the awkwardness of this box. We have keys, two sets of keys. <gasps> okay, this is where it's gonna get good. So just one second. I don't even know how to take this out. You ready? Okay, one sec, I have to come around. Now, I do have to tell you, when you order this, this is how it's gonna look like. Sometimes I get boxes where it's a complete mess, but this is brand new. No one has ever touched this before. I am the first user to open this up and look at this. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Wow. It's been so long since I opened up a desktop of this size, like the tower form factor. I can't believe this is in my house. And right out of the gate, you can see the key that came with this. Sorry, okay. Oh, what a beast of a machine. First impressions, looking at this box, this is a powerhouse. This is a standard tower. I think my personal computer that I've self-built is around the same size as this, but this is significantly heavier. I don't know the exact specs of this until I go plug it in, but I really want to open this up, take a look at the inside. What do we have? We'll talk about some of the ports on this specific model, but generally speaking, there are a lot of configurations here that you can look at. So as we open this up, we take the plastic off, we turn it on. Let's see, there's a little lock here at the front. I'm gonna turn this over so that you can see. But there are two little keys here. <gasps> look at that. I'll leave the key in there. I wonder if the same key, or if I need another key to open this, or if I can, oh, no, same one. All right. So we have those opened up. These are 512 gigabyte drives. I wonder if we can take these out easily. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, this system is cool. Wow, I can't believe I got my hands on this. So that comes out, slides super easily. Looking at this as well. So we got two drives there of 512 gigabytes. There's so much regarding, regarding this and what you can remove and not. Let's just put these back on so that I don't mess anything up here. We'll lock it. I think that's amazing that I can have my PC completely secured with lock and key. 
just have to keep this in a really good spot. Wow, AMD, I'm so impressed with this machine. Right at the front, you have your power button. You do have a headphone jack, great for creators because I'm constantly listening to my content. You have an SD card reader, again, fantastic for creators. You have two, looks like Type-C connectors, and then you have a USB Type-A two in the front as well. Let's turn this around, let's get a closer look at this, and I'm gonna tell you some technical viewpoints of this machine. Now I wanna open this Dell Precision up, and this is an absolute powerhouse. So you do need a little screwdriver to open this up, but this is really built for creators, engineers, and data scientists who demand performance without any compromise. Now this workstation is supporting AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 7000, and the all new 9000 WX series processors. So this is really delivering an unmatched scalability from 12 cores all the way up until 96. What I really like about Dell desktops, especially this one, is there is a really big overview of the mechanical overview that's inside the BIOS mapping, electrical overview, as well as when you see these little blue uh, stickers and tags here and here, that means it, you know, you push it and then you can remove some of the pieces. So you can completely take this out, customize it. There's the drive base and things like that. Now the build I'm showing you today is equipped with the latest 9000 WX series chip. And guess how much RAM that this thing can hold? It can actually hold up to two terabytes of RAM. Yes, two terabytes of RAM. And if you see down here, there is two GPU cards in here. If I can, I don't know if I can remove this easily. It's definitely a riser to, oh yeah, it's on the side here. There we go. There we go. This is a true monster for multitasking, simulation, AI workloads, and rendering at extreme speeds. Especially for my editing videos, this thing will be a machine. Now coming, I think this month or next month, they will be able to have the next gen Blackwell GPUs arriving. And with the 7875 tower, it is really ready to handle any of your workloads, whether again, like I said, engineering, creators, data scientists, and so on. So it's really not just a workstation, it's a scalable machine designed to evolve all of your projects. If performance, reliability, and future-proof design are what you're after, this tower is what really sets it apart. I'm used to building my own PCs and being able to customize and have uh, the capabilities of removing things, especially with the stickers that shows you what you can do, what you can push, how you can remove some of, let's say, the front part here as well. It is fully customizable if needed, but I don't think you need to because it comes with everything you could potentially want. Now, the really fun thing is you can customize everything from storage to graphics to match your exact workflow, whether you're doing 8K video editing, complex CAD modeling, or even training massive AI models. This is a workstation level engineering can take to the extreme. Now, that was my review of the AMD Dell Precision 7875. This is a powerhouse. I cannot believe how customizable and powerful this system is. This is for engineers, maybe potential creators. You can put additional GPUs in here. So absolutely, you can most likely game with this machine and not have an issue. Obviously, that's not what this is built for, but you do have the option if you do have hobbies outside of working, let's just say. I really like reviewing PCs. As you can tell, I get so excited about receiving new technology that I can bring forward for you. Now, if there's certain PCs or questions that you have regarding what should I buy next, what should I buy for a certain type of employee, maybe you're in IT, or even a personal computer for your business, feel free to comment down below. I absolutely love hearing from you, and I like to see who's watching these types of videos. Thank you so much for being here. It helps me out a lot as this is my hobby, so I'd appreciate you if you would subscribe, if you're still here, like, share with anyone, and tune in to my next video when I'll see you again. Take care.